Welcome back to my tutorial on Kitsonerist. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at statistics. And you might be wondering, Paul, why do we need to know about statistics? It seems like it's, it's this writing, this is not a math class. But statistics are very important, especially uh, in your rewriting process. If you want to change um, a character, uh, if you, so if you want to see where, where they are, if you change a character, where they're at in their scenes, it's important for production. So Kitsuneris has a very powerful tool in the statistics. A lot of other screenwriting programs do not have this. So this is a very welcome feature and one that I would especially use if you are doing any rewriting. Uh, to access the statistics um, part, you just go to the tab. So you can see the tab here. It's highlighted right now. It's highlighted statistics. Uh, the first thing you can do is take a look at reports. And you can use it. Normally this is either um, out as the carrot is down. Or like I said, you can move the carrot up and move that away. Now, the first thing you have is this, uh, a um, summary of all the statistics. The one nice thing about this is you can click off different sections and you notice here on the right panel of what goes away. So it's interesting if we look at the summary text statistics, we see some very interesting things. We see how many scene headings there are, how many scene characters, actions, characters, parentheticals, dialogues, transitions, and these type of things. So it's very helpful uh, to know how many characters you have to plan for if you're going to make a production out of this. You have an idea of how long the current screenplay is for, how many pages it is, how many words it is, uh, characters with or without spaces. So all very valuable information. The next thing that we're going to look at is scene statistics. So in this particular screenplay that I'm doing, I just have three or have one scene that actually label uh, time of day as night. The other ones are undefined. So it's good for me as a writer to go back and look at those and say, hey, I need to change those because they are undefined time. The next one is location statistics. Again, you can see how many times I have an exterior or interior scene, interior diner, opening credits, um, that type of stuff. So you can see um, locations. Again, if I see opening credits on this too, I'm going to go back and make sure that I've formatted correctly because opening credits should not um, come up. And then finally, character statistics. So we see uh, if they have more than 10 speaking parts or they have about 10 speaking parts or if they have a non-speaking part. And we see um, that we have about four. Uh, and these, again, are, are important. Again, if you're doing a budget and you need to figure out how many people are going to be speaking, uh, you know how to reimburse them. And again, you can click on all these if you like or just the, the specific one you want. Now, going back, the next thing that we have, that's the summary statistics. Now, all the rest of these things are actually other reports. And so we can look at script order. Um, you can see the opening credits, exterior road. Um, and so it puts all the scenes um, in order and shows you who, what characters are present in each one. Um, you can see how many, uh, what page you're on, how many characters are there, and what the duration of the scene is at. The next one is a lo location report. Again, this is very helpful if we're filming a scene so that the, the people who are going to actually going to make our screenplay can say, okay, so this is where we're going to be at. Um, and this is what time of day we're going to need. And so this is very helpful, again, especially for people who are producing the script. Cast report. So again, this is helpful for as we transition to having the screenplay produced, you can see all the different characters, how many dialogues they have, how many speaking scenes they have, how many non-speaking scenes they have, and how many scenes you have. So again, this will be very helpful for when you are um, producing the, the screenplay. So you know um, when you need to have people together or when you need actors for certain scenes. And then we go for characters with speaking parts. And so we have the characters over here on the left side, and we can actually see the dialogue and what scene they're in when they say each of their dialogues pieces and so that's very interesting too also helpful in the rewriting process let's say you have a character and you need to look and see when they speak because you're going to take care uh maybe removing that character or you need to uh, change the interactions or or manipulate how they're going to be present in the film and so this is a wonderful way to see where they're speaking at so we can close those reports now we can look at plots we can look at the story structure which shows a sort of scene duration you can see all these labeled here as well too scene duration action duration dialogue duration character counts number of speaking parts and so you sort of have a graph of how things should look over and analyzing uh, your story structure over the minutes 
uh, character activity. Again, you can sort of see where they are present. This, I don't have that many scenes, and so you don't have as nice of a graph for these because I have basically one scene that they're all in, um, and so or a real small amount. So you can you can definitely see sort of how they show up in the picture. This is a nice sort of way to look at the character activity because if you have a main character and there's suddenly large pieces of your screenplay that you do not see them in, you need to go back and re. Uh, put them in extra scenes because if they're a main character, you're going to want to know what's happened. So this really is helpful looking at your screenplay and checking each of the characters out um, and seeing how they, how often they're present and if they're present in all the things that they need to be in as well too. Before we end, there's one thing I also want to talk about. And so uh, you can update your current report by selecting this. You can uh, either save your report to a file or in some cases you can actually print your file as well as well too so these are three different uh, tools up here so you can actually print these reports out save them as a file and send them to somebody else as well too which is another helpful thing with these statistics it's one thing to look at them yourself it's another thing to be able to share them with a co-writer or producer uh, in those sense so that's statistics if you're in need of any other tutorials on kit scenarios that's a very powerful free program feels free to look at the playlist for this and find the section that will help you with your writing until the next video we'll have a blessed day